As you can see, the new floating C spinning on the smart drive and just spinning away. That was just a quick little push with my fingertip. Uh, this is a five blade design and it will adjust itself. We've done it with the blower and it takes right off. So our next test is with the wind. And as you can see, uh, we're gonna stop her. And as the wing is designed, it has the ability to catch and act like a sail. So when the wind grabs it, it grabs it over here. And then as it comes across, we have a little chute on the back end and the wind can catch it. All depends on the wind and how um, it affects it. And when it's going through the wind as a head on, it can adjust itself to the most aerodynamic shape. With the uh, new man hub here that bolts right to the man smart drive, it allows us to uh, stretch out the forces. It is 15 inches tall on 11 and 7 inch round, and it is set up for a 5 and 3 uh, wing layout, uh, which can be adapted or go taller or shorter. So uh, the cost, we've re really driven the cost down on this particular design, and... Uh, we're going to fly it in the next few days on the back of the trailer, so we'll have real wind speed to uh, power to the grid, uh, simulating a grid on a trailer, and uh, give all the data with the data logger, and we'll see. Merry Christmas, everybody. Here we are at the Bob's new sea floating wind turbine, and uh, it's on ground level right now. I just put it out here to see how she worked. And... Uh, She's only got three mile an hour winds right now. I mean, she's just one, two. We just adjust it so that I get the best in it. As you can see, okay, so that's that way. So we'll put it that way. Just look at the tags to see where she's blowing. And uh, this is the free floating. It's two, let me get a bit there for you can see it. I don't agree, okay. Two mile an hour, one mile an hour wind, 0.6. Here comes a little gust, three. And uh, that's the uh, new uh, sea floating hub. It doesn't have any magnets in it. It's on the Baron system, the factory Baron system I built. But that just goes to show you, man, she's just uh, catching the wind and work going to town. Um, I just put her out here because I had no room in the garage and I got stuff to do the day after Christmas. So I thought this was uh, pretty cool. Uh, a lot better than that one up there, <laughs> which ain't working so well. That's because she's too small. And she, she, that's got a four inch tube on a 30 inch with three. And this is a six inch tube on uh, a five on 42. So, I mean, I mean, that's one mile an hour, one mile an hour, and she's just moving away under a mile. I mean, she's just free-floating and, and sucking the life out of here. It's just amazing.